Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today what I have for you is another tutorial. Today what it is, it's an uh, on and off furnace design I thought of, so as you guys can see, I actually do have resources in these things, I just don't, they're not going into the furnace. So this is pretty much an on and off switch, when I turn this on, it immediately turns on and starts loading stuff in, so if you only want a selected amount of, uh, Iron in there, you can always just turn this on, so say I want only about 16, I can go ahead and turn that off then, and I get 15, but of course, plus the one that's down here, but there's a few more. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool machine, guys, if you don't want to have your machine on all the time, and like, just wasting precious resources. Um, yeah, you can just use this machine, it'll turn off when you press this button right over here, which I find actually pretty cool, so... Yeah, uh, so today I'm going to be showing you the tutorial on how to build this. First of all, guys, you're going to need uh, a few chests for this. You're going to need hoppers. You're going to need, um, of course, some furnaces, some building blocks, just all that basic stuff. You, and you're also going to need a lever to, of course, turn off and on. And, of course, some resources, depending on what you want to smelt. And then, of course, some... Um, uh, coal or charcoal. If you do want to see a video on how to get an infinite charcoal machine, make sure to check out my other tutorials. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and make this over here. First of all, guys, what you want to do is you want to place two right down here. Let me just set time set day. Then what you want to do is place this thing up here, place your furnace here, place your hopper on this side right over here. Then what you want to do is place a... Uh, normal chest like this and then another chest like this then what you want to do is place a hopper up here a chest a chest then what you want to do is place your lever right here turn that off of course if you do want to do this you can put some building blocks just so people can't really see through it if you want to just to make it look good uh, but yeah I preferably would I if I was you guys I would prefer to like to do something like this uh, just for basic coverage but then again you can also go higher if you really want to um, it's up, it's ultimately your choice. Uh, so now you want to simply turn on, so you want to put some iron in the chest here, or whatever you want to do, you just put your, uh, materials in there. Uh, let me just cut that in half. So now what you do, all you have to do is turn this on for it to activate, and then of course when you want to turn it off, it's this way. You can put an on and off button there. Of course, the downside, this, the downside of the le lever is off and of course the upside right here is on if you do want to have it on or off so yeah it's a pretty cool design guys it's pretty easy to make I kind of like it to be honest I'm gonna definitely be building this um, on servers and all that stuff because I kind of I kind of like it a lot because then you can put like all your resources in here and then you can have an off and on switch if you don't want to smelt any of them but then you don't want to take out all the resources or have to take out the coal or something like that or take out um, just like stuff in general or have to do that stuff if this gets full or whatnot you'll have it all done and especially if you don't want to get rid of all your resources and make them into materials this is perfect for that reason uh, yeah it's really convenient I find guys so hope you liked the video if you did make sure to hit that like button if you liked it guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to apply for the Jimbo Evan Crap Network for a 70% revenue share. But that's it to me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.